morning kindergarten. Today is Friday. Woohoo! We made it to Friday. Today is Friday, May 15th, and I'm so excited that the weekend is here. I hope you're doing something fun this weekend. Hopefully we're coming close to the end of this quarantine time and we won't have to be in the house for much longer and you'll be able to go out and do things again that you love. I sure miss you kindergarten and I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna continue to challenge you today because I think you can do this work all on your own. So I will give you some of the words on the back of morning work. I'm gonna help you with your math because it's different and new. I'm gonna let you do phonics on your own and then writing is gonna be on your own and reading I'll help you with just a little bit, but I think you can do all of this work today, kindergarten. Let's go ahead and look together at the back of our morning work. You can do the front all on your own. I know you can do this. On the back of your morning work today, we have the word smell, gum, doll, swim. Then we have the word crab and fruit. And then down here, I know you know what this word is. We have the word nut, cut, wig, dig. And the last one is the word sub. You got this kindergarten. I believe in you. This week for math, we've been working so hard on story problems, and I'm so proud of you. It's a brand new idea, so it's okay if it's still challenging. Don't worry about it. We'll get it, okay? We just have to keep trying. The more we try, the better we're gonna be at it. So it's okay if it's still difficult for you. That's what we do it together for. If you think you can do it all on your own, go for it. I believe in you, but if you want a little extra help, that's what I'm here for. Today, your math paper, we're gonna be working on another story problem, and today it's about guinea pigs. I used to have pet guinea pigs. Before I had sparks in my classroom, I had two guinea pigs in my classroom. They're now with other people, and that's okay. But I'm super excited to hear this story today about guinea pigs. Go ahead and cut out your guinea pigs, and then um, today, we're going to be using a pencil to draw some things and some other crayons. So go ahead and have all your things ready. All right, just like we've been doing, we're gonna start by reading our story problem together. So up here it says, there were eight guinea pigs in the pet store. Three were sold to a family. How many guinea pigs were left in the store? Now that we've read all the way through our story problem, we're gonna go back and read it piece by piece. So our first piece says, there were eight guinea pigs in the pet store. We're going to start by drawing a pet store. So I'm gonna use a pen, you can use a pencil, and we're just gonna draw a big building. So I always start with a big line, and another big line, and a top to my building, kind of looks like a rectangle. And then maybe we wanna put a front door on our pet store, okay? Now, it says that we start with eight guinea pigs in the pet store. Be careful, don't glue them down yet. We're gonna put eight guinea pigs in our pet store. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're kind of on top of each other, that's okay. Now that I've got my eight guinea pigs in my pet store, let's read the next sentence. It says three were sold to a family. So we need to draw a family. I'm gonna just draw it really quick, so I'm gonna do stick figures. It's okay if you do the same thing. We know that when we are doing good drawing, we don't draw stick figures. But for quick math drawing, we can do stick figures, okay? Um, let's see, we need another look, a younger boy. So we've got a dad, a mom, and two kids, an older one and a younger one. Okay, it says that three of our guinea pigs from our pet store were sold to this family and they went to their home. So we're gonna take one from the pet store, two from the pet store, and three from our pet store. Then it says, how many guinea pigs were left in the store? 
How many guinea pigs do we have left in the store? Good job, we have five guinea pigs left in our store. So using this information, let's fill our number bond. We first found out that we had eight guinea pigs in the store. So our whole number we knew was eight. Then we found out that three of those guinea pigs were sold to a family. After that, we found out that how many were left in the store? Five were left in the store. With that number bond, now we're going to fill out our fact family. We start with two addition sentences and then we do two subtraction sentences. So looking at addition first, we know we're gonna start with part, part, whole. So we're gonna do part plus our part equals our whole number. So three plus five equals our whole number eight. Then we're gonna take these two parts and flip them around. Or we're gonna take these two parts and we're gonna start down here instead of starting up here. So we're gonna start with our other part, which is five plus three equals eight. Now for subtraction, we know that we start with our whole number. So we're gonna start with eight. For both of these, we're gonna be starting with eight because that's our whole number and we always start with our whole number when we subtract. So let's take away our first part. What's our first part? Three, so eight minus three equals our part that's left over. What's our number that's left over? The number five, we haven't used it yet. Then for this one, we don't wanna start with three again because we would have the same number and our same problem for our fact family. So we need to use our other part, which is our number five. Eight minus five equals, what part is left? Three. Great job, you're doing better, keep working hard. Today is your last day of your phonics practice for this week. So I think you can do it without any help from me. So go ahead and finish your last sheet for phonics this week. Great job on learning another new sound. I'm so proud of you. For reading today, you're continuing to work on your reading. I know sometimes it seems kind of boring, but the best way to become a better reader is to practice every day. And this is such a great way for you to practice that gets harder each day so that you can practice your skills more and more. So read it three times just in case you have some new words you've learned so you can get some extra practice with those before you answer your questions. On the back of your paper today, we're working on words that rhyme. So you're gonna be cutting the pictures from down here and you're gonna be gluing them next to the word that it rhymes with. So let's go ahead and look at just what each of these words are. So we have cab, cat, ten, hop, wig, bug. Now from there, we have the words down here that we need to rhyme. So we have lab, which is where a scientist does all of their work. Pen, hug, mop, bat, and dig. So you're gonna cut these out and glue them next to the word that it rhymes with. Great job this week. If you have not finished your writing about persuading mom or dad to let you have a later bedtime, Make sure you finish that up today and then enjoy your weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday. I can't believe it, kindergarten. We're getting so close to the end of the school year. We'll see you soon.